Hey guys, so just this week I've uploaded the final version of my recreation of the Pipe Dream model, all done in Roblox. And yes, every single frame is animated and coded in Roblox. But I just wanted to make this video to show you guys how to run it and create your own songs. As an example, earlier this year ThinkGamer animated his arrangement of the Marble Machine song. And I'll show you how to do the same. Before I go through everything though, I'd like to say a huge thank you to Michael Pitcher for composing the original music heard in the premiere video. Without him, I wouldn't have been able to show off a legit sounding song to demo the set. I really personally could not have written something that sounds as real. If you're curious to see his scoring process on some of his other work, do check out a video I linked in the description. So first, what you'll need to do is find the Pipe Dream Place titled Dev Place. I'll put a link in the description as well. You won't be able to play it with your character. Instead, it's only accessible through Roblox Studio. Click the three dots in the upper right and click Edit. I recommend creating a copy of this place before going forward. Okay, so now that the game is open, the key you'll want to remember is F8. Press it to make sure everything runs properly, as the game is only designed to be run in this mode. Also, your window layout will look a bit different than mine, but once you can locate the workspace item, you'll be able to see all the folders and scripts I used while developing this animation, all throughout the three years on and off that I've been going. But the only thing you'll need to concern yourself with is these couple of folders here. Switches holds all of the setting values you'd want to change, and it even has a little documentation in case you get confused. As you can see in this folder, I have a bunch of MIDI files imported to Roblox as string values. If I go over to the animated MIDI value under switches, I can set it to point to a different song, say, the Rickroll from last year, and now when I press F8, it'll animate that MIDI instead. Now if you want to get your own custom song to play, it is important to format it as follows. Your MIDI should have each instrument under a separate track with a unique name. And I use MIDI Editor to verify this, I'll put a download link in the description. And for example, if the vibraphone track was titled Vibe 1, I would keep a track of that exact name and then write it down later. Next, have your saved MIDI file and drag it into this website which I've linked in the description. This will convert your MIDI file into a long base 64 string which Roblox will then read whenever it starts up. Back in Studio, you can make a new string value under MIDI's and you can give it a good title. After that, you just copy paste the base 64 into that string and then assign that to the animated MIDI. To assign each track to its correct instrument, copy a song data module script underneath one of the previous songs and fill it out with the correct values. For instance, I would change the string vibraphone to vibe1. That way it tells the script which track to be assigned to which instrument. Now, pressing F8 will animate that new song for us. Now you'll notice when you try to run it, it'll be a bit slow. The lights here are pretty laggy because there's like 30 of them, so if you wanted to sacrifice quality for performance, change the lighting from future to something like compatibility. Lastly, I'll go over how to make your own custom camera movements. First, you'd need to install my camera plugin by going down to server storage, right clicking the camera editor folder, and saving as a local plugin. Now that it's installed, you can enable it under switches dot run camera editor. F8 to make sure, and you'll notice whichever camera track was selected, you'll see as keyframes under the GUI. Hopefully it isn't too hard to use, I mean after all I only designed it for myself to use, but it's usable nonetheless. The data you're editing is found under the camera.keyframes folder, so once you're happy with what you got, you can copy paste from there or save it to your disk, which I recommend doing. Also. Perhaps most disappointing, I did not come up with a good way of editing the light keyframes. Personally, I would just recommend having the default of all the lights on, which you can do by deleting this value right here. So that's really about it. If you have any troubles with loading your game, or loading the Midian, or whatever, uh, be sure to leave a comment. I hope this has been interesting or informative, and I'd be really interested in seeing what you guys make. Thanks for watching.